G'day, and welcome back to my Elite Dangerous series, once again. It's been a while since the last episode, but I had to spend a lot of time trying to uh, prepare my Anaconda for my 8 month exploration campaign. Let me tell you, I'm going to probably spend like the first few minutes of the video uh, just probably ranting on about the whole engineering grind. I mean, looking up across YouTube, Google, Reddit, I can see how a lot of people are mad about the imbalance of the engineering. And I can tell that the grind is just, it's just painful, it's not fun. It's like work. You know? Okay. So before I get to that, uh, I just had to jump to the system. So I'm basically done with it all. It's like the last step. All I have to do now is go to the Black Heights. Uh, which is a... Uh, I don't need the super cruise assist. Oh, to ex well, yeah, I don't need it. Uh, if you didn't know, it actually takes longer to use the super cruise assist. You can actually get there to a destination. Uh, for for manual, you just need to make sure that you don't overshoot it, basically. Now, for this next two minutes or three minutes or four minutes, I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going to go on about the engineers. Well, it ain't. F Since I started the engineering uh, back, you know, back, you know, start with Felicity Farcia, uh, you go to the Pleiades uh, Nebula, pick up some uh, Meta Oli, then go back and yeah, and just unlock the engineer. And when I start getting into combat, oh, okay, this, yeah, I could definitely use a. Uh, a bit of an upgrade. But it turns out when I really learned what the engineering's were, how it goes, there are three different material traders. And you're just gonna go backwards and forths constantly. Give me a second, I need a oh, I'm on the other side of the plank, damn it. Anyways. Let me just say this. Uh, the, in the description I if I remember if I remember, uh, there'll be a link to my anaconda, which I set it up as. Uh, a lot of it, most of it was uh, pre-made uh, by a content creator called Down Tonto with Astronomy. Uh, we, uh, yeah, create an example do of that. That's where I basically got it from. Uh, but I made some adjustments to it, uh, to my needs, how I prefer. But in order to get all those modules, um, all of them, most of them, engineered. Basically, importantly, the ones that have to be, you know, stripped down or optimized in mass, you know, for better FSD range. Alright, so, anyways, as I'm going backwards and forwards, you need the materials. Uh, you can purchase materials, the so three different materials, data manufactured in raw. Uh, you go to one engineer, you go unlock it. It's a bunch of engineers I had to unlock. There's like seven of them, I think. <sighs> but I go there, it requires cargo space. You're going to get these rare commodities. You go there. Many times I forget that I need cargo racks. So I to go back to a station, the nearest, and go for there. That's where Nara and EDB, EWDB came in handy. Uh, just so you can search up the nearest thing. And at times, oh, okay, I could just use the engineer workshop if I have some uh, blueprints uh, printed. Uh, not printed. Uh, blueprinted or pinned you know so you could uh, upgrade your modules or engineering at the station it turns out you don't get reputation with the engineer so once you, you max out well, what you can allow then you go back to engineer and it turns out you have no reputation to continue on because you didn't get any rep you know if you can understand me <laughs> I'm sure that knows that no have not uh, have enough knowledge of the game especially in engineering then yes you do know what I'm talking about but this is just a lot though. It takes a lot of goddamn time. A lot of time, I tell ya. This entire week. The past seven days, that's why I see him. Every night. And sometimes I get surprised it's already been like five hours. And then I'm asleep. And there are times I don't get to record. Which is part of the reason why I haven't been uploading as well. I'm trying to get there. 
So as I'm, I should be done with Lead Dangerous for a while, so the exploration, which doesn't require as much time as engineering, then I can switch the time to working on Space Engineers, because I need to get Space Engineers content out. <sighs> Tell you what, the engineering grind is just, it's, it's done. How it's set up. <sighs> if you don't have much time, it's not, not worth it. Tell you right now. Okay. Yep, charge enhanced grade 5 and stripped down for experimental. I should have the materials for experimental. The experimental effect. Anyways, charge enhanced. Yes, okay. Charge enhanced. Let's go. I'd do this like a lot, like the 12th time, maybe 15th, 20th. Oh. It also turns out you can actually spend less materials uh, upgrading, like generating modifications, if you have a high enough reputation with the engineer. I know, it's just, it's dumb. I don't like it. I don't know why I can't just blitz this instead of just waiting here, because a lot of times, I don't think the developers really set this up, <laughs> or they really do missed it, uh, really, um, really didn't see it for combat. <laughs> I listened to some videos about the engineering arts. Just look it up. Lee Danis Engineering. Ugh. I found out what I need to know. Anyways. Uh, so that's done. So that basically means... Yay. My anaconda... Is now complete and ready for... Exploration. How about that? Okay. So now... Let's go auto launch. I do use the autopilot um, for this uh, anaconda because you know you bring it through a mailbox of a, a regular station. It's nine times out of ten, actually eight times out of ten for me. I actually hit up hitting the um, edges because the ship is actually that massive, like the Type Nine. So yeah, that's the thing. I'm gonna head back to Seoul, which is our system. By the way, I can already jump now. Oh. 74 light years. But 79 unladen. Isn't that great? Yes, I'm so happy now that my anaconda is now completely finished, but not entirely though. There's some um, upgrade and uh, well they're not upgrades. I need some customizations, which is all I need. Do I get obscured? Oh yeah. Can't jump to the system and the plants in the way. <laughs> ah, but seriously though, a week of just dreadful engineering. I'm just, I'm, I'm just glad. It's now all done. Yeah, I noticed that this game is basically an online graveyard. I mean, you got all these AIs around, but it's like... I've... I think the, mo the, the amount of players I've actually seen, in terms of... It, it filtered by random players, I've only seen like 10 or 15 random players. Because a, a lot of just a lot of people just quit the game, you know. I've heard it's uh, kind of just like it's unpopular with the whole Odyssey thing, and the developers not, you know. I still like the game. I, I love the game. About I do hate it in some ways, but let's go to Mars. Uh, there's a color station I like there. Huh? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. It's it's definitely you can tell that the game doesn't love you back, you know. Because you're doing this, it just—it doesn't feel like you've really, it doesn't give you much, you know. It's just this and this. It's just the game is also very demanding. 
Yeah. It would have been nice if the developers, you know, kind of worked on it in the community's favor. Also, um, for those uh, interested in astronomy, you probably have noticed already, uh, but there's actually a planet, planet alignment uh, with like. I'm pretty sure the moon and Neptune was involved, but it's basically um, from the horizon. It's uh, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, and Saturn. Now, now since I received a telescope. Or I got to know you, telescope from last Christmas, which I was very happy about. I actually attempted to look at one of the planets. Uh, but this occurs at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., so I don't really have a stand to actually pl place it on. And I'm may option room space options. Yeah, because dark and reasons. I'm tempted to look at one of the planets, but then it's like, oh, I kept. My script's constantly shaking around because I'm holding it with my arms, basically. So I'm a bit disappointed. I would do it right now, because I actually found a way to solve that. But now it's just all cloudy and rainy here in Australia. It's going to be like this all week, so I'm disappointed. But uh, Venus and Jupiter... Well... You'll see them very close together. Not uh, literally, but you know, orbit twice. You basically see be able to see them both in the telescope. Anyways, I'm into astronomy. Uh, yes, because of the um, modules I have, I have like a 1D power distributor and 3A power plant. Despite them being engineered, I cannot use the boost, which I'm actually disappointed. Because it, the site doesn't actually tell me if I'm able to be someone stuck at 150 meters a second. So I must set the power to engineer as priority. Okay, need to request access. Access approved. Land on path zero two. Anyways, what I'm saying is, say, you know, Venus and Jupiter actually bright in the sky. You could actually see all four planets. It's so cool. So I think it's like only a one-time event. I try not to miss it. Yes. Anyways, the customizations uh, I saw like you can actually put things like on the patrol panel around the place. There's also a coal bus. Is that port um, purchase dark? Okay. Need to remind myself. I need to get a screenshot. Alrighty. So I think I've just set up uh, my anaconda completely now, entirely. So I've set up all the customi uh, customizations. I'm happy with it right now. And luckily I had enough arcs for it. <laughs> okay, so the paint job's this. Uh, of course I got this, it's all purple. Uh, you didn't call this. Um, I've got these. Oh, I like the icon. Uh, the ship kits I don't like because it's like spikes. It's just like, they're not spotless, they're just spikes. Anyways. Uh, the, the, the plate, well, yes, of course. Brusky. Let's go these, uh, I've got these uh, dashboard here. <laughs> so yeah, and I like these lights too. So mine is done. I'm very happy with it. So I'm basically... I'm, I'm done. My work is done in the game. My work is done. I can do whatever I like now. Which I'm happy about. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see the purple thrusters. Nope. Frame shift drive charging. <laughs> The only thing that makes me laugh out of that Corvus, that Eden Corvus, is the way she says, uh, Frame just drove charging. <laughs> Anyways. 
Well, this is probably... It's not the end of the series. But it's basically the end of the part where... Well, I grind through the game or work my way through what's why, what I really wanted to get. And I've done that. But the series will keep going, though. Uh, from now on, the content of Elite Dangerous will just be streams. However... Uh, once I do enough streams, or I don't know, if I do a stream, and if it's some of the footage is content worthy, then I'll make a video and add it to the series. So I hope you understand how that works, though. It's not over. It's just I get to do it. <laughs> I get to do what I like now. Anyways. Well, I hope you enjoyed this series of Lee Dennis. I did, but you know, I'm glad I've got everything done I wanted, and I've got what I wanted, so. So thanks for watching. Four, three, two, one, I shall see you in the next video on Traveling the Galaxy. So until next time, have a good day.